Now in this video I'm going to go over some of the improvements I've made and <coughs> some of the new equipment I've got for uh, the test testing side of things. Um, it is a bit of a voltage drop uh, but that's just due to the cabling going out to the batteries outside. The batteries are fine, they should be able to handle it fine. Um, it's just literally that, that voltage drop in the cabling. So once we've sorted that we should be able to see some more uh, wattage, more current being delivered to the system um, but for now I will just go over what I've done um, I've been playing around with the red brick a bit uh, flashed a new firmware on there Simon K firmware and had to edit some code to get it to run um, correctly at low RPMs because they're meant for like RC planes and stuff um, so they only want to give full current when they're running at high RPM uh, so at low RPM they're limited, so I've taken off that restriction in the code and since we're working all right, I need to play around with the timing a bit more just to get the start up a bit more, uh, a bit smoother. Uh, it's definitely an improvement over the um, the old firmware for start wise because before it would start up okay, so it'd actually turn the motor okay, uh, not under load though, but um, if it had a slight bit of load it wouldn't get past the set RPM for some reason. Um, now I'd imagine that's just due to the coding in the original firmware so but with this I can edit quite a bit so yeah anyway uh, pause the video and get on to showing you what I've done. Cheers. That's a, a new meter that I've got was this one so this records the um, amps and watts and volts as well so it does your highest watts highest stamps and also your lowest uh, lowish, lowest uh, volts which is quite good because I never really could monitor them all like that so it's pretty good um, I've got another PDM, PWM controller that's running 12 volts and that just goes to the drive motor and um, the main reason I've got that is so if I really want to stress put more load on it I can decrease the field windings and then cause uh, more current to be produced by the ESC uh, but at the moment I'm getting a quite a big voltage drop so I just have that on full because uh, <coughs> it can't keep up anyway I can't, my uh, supply can't keep up and I've got the PWM controller here for the load I've put it on t uh, 25, yeah, 24 volts uh, just to get that more load out of it um, obviously that's not going to be running for a long period of time so I'm not too worried about that um, here I've just got the amps from the ESC to the uh, drive motor just as a uh, hopefully you can see it in the video I'm not sure but, but it's just going to do full load test just so you can sort of see what kind of load I can get um, hopefully it will be more once I've sorted the wiring out so um, yeah let's go for it this is drive motor full load on the um, load motor and I've got the red brick which I've reflashed and edited, edited some of the code um, so you can actually get it to run max at low RPMs um, which is good so yeah it's good from here it has a bit of a start still but yeah it's good So that, I think this one said 80 amps with it. Let's have a look again. Yeah, so it's 80 amps going to the motor. Look at that down there, 105 amps battery. Uh, what was the wattage? So yeah, so you can see that 18 volts minimum. Uh, yeah, there you go, nearly 2000 watts so far, so it's, it's pretty good. Um, but yeah, I'll do some more videos soon with a uh, cooling of the VESC and uh, some more on the red brick. Yeah, I just, I just you know, I, I, I want to work a bit more with the red brick, um, only because it's cheap, it's like 50 bucks, and it's, yeah, it just seems to be working pretty well. 
Um, there's a lot of code you can edit in the uh, Simon K firmware. Um, so once that's all edited, edited, you can actually um, make a hex file and then anyone can sort of flash that on there um, and use that and get the same settings. But yeah, all good. I uh, hope you like the improvements. Any more improvements I can make, let us know. Cheers.